Hi, everyone. This is uh, Ann and Leave, um, and we were just laughing. We're so delighted to join you. But uh, we, 20 years ago, we were on Antarctica, and we had this remarkable device called a satellite phone. And we would call in to various media outlets. It was one of the ways that we would spread the word to the millions of children that were following along on our journey. And when we called Katie Couric, um, we would say, hi, this is Ann and Lee from the ice. And of course we were freezing and we were in all this glorious landscape of whiteness. And sometimes they would even put us on hold um, until they went and collected Katie uh, to ask us a few questions before we continued to ski uh, across Antarctica. So I think it's so amazing that here we are and of course, you know, in all seriousness, it really wasn't always fun. I mean, we had really hard days. Um, actualizing your dream um, is hard work. Um, but we were, we did have fun along the way. And um, there's one particular day that was, I would say it was our worst day. And I often say yeah. I was actually depressed. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's, we had uh, no wind for many, many days, maybe a week or so. So we were far behind the schedule because we also used uh, wind sails because we traveled 300, uh, 3,000 kilometers. I'm not into miles. I still don't know about the miles. Uh, so we were far behind schedule and we had called CNN. And the uh, reporter there had brought um, a person that could tell us about the wind in Antarctica, that it was no wind. So we were sort of, we were <laughs> supposed to be the sort of fun news there. And I don't know what they said, but um, it was our hardest day. And uh, we had, um, we, we, we planned to send the message to the, uh, the kids that was following us to um, to make wind dances and wind songs and we also brought uh, out the, the the mouth harp that i just have no so we brought the wind song <laughs> that we finally picked up the wind and made the whole crossing but that was a very depressing day that ended in a good laugh yeah, and laughter and humor is such a strong tool uh, to sort of recalibrating your whole psyche, and it really changed everything for us. To because uh, you know it seems so grave, and then possibilities show up, you know, and you just have to keep. I think it was Shackleton actually who said uh, uh, a very short quote. He said, "There's always a way." And once we yeah. sort of loosened up our, our, our mental stuckness, um, we were able to see that there were more ways to keep on going. And, and of course we were able to prevail. How lucky are we to be in this collective um, group of unique and yeah. powerful women? Thanks for, for supporting the work that Wings does. It, it makes a huge impact on all of our lives. We really appreciate it.